Okay, I'm beginning this model of how to do a capillary isoelectric focusing run. In the first step of any capillary isoelectric focusing run, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to fill up your capillary with a lot of ampelite. And as mentioned in the Word document, ampelite is effectively a mixture of a lot of different molecules with different isoelectric points. And the ranges of those isoelectric points within the molecules can range from 2 to 5, 2 to 7, 4 to 6, so wide pH ranges, or it can be something less than one pH range, like 4.2 to 4.9, which we have in the fridge. Uh, yeah, and you're going to decide what kind of ampullary range you're going to use based on your buffer pHs and based on the analytes in your, that you're using, their isoelectric points, but for the moment that's not important. As you fill up your capillary with ampullite, you're going to also want to fill up the capillary with your sample right afterwards. In this case, it's sample A, B, and C. We're just going to say it's three different molecules put in a mixture. They have been unseparated yet, but that's only for the moment. Because as soon as you add your sample to your, cap to your capillary that's filled with ampullite, we're going to turn on the voltage. And we're going to do, let's say, 10 kilovolts for, let's say, 20 minutes. And while this happens, while the, while the voltage is on for these 20 minutes, all your plus ions from your H3, H3PO4 are going to rush into the capillary, and all your minus ions are going to rush into the capillary from the heap side as well to try and neutralize those charges at the surface of your amplifiers different isoelectric points, their surface charges are different each. And while all of this is going on, the same thing is going to happen to your sample, where samples A, B, and C have different surface charges, and as such, they need different numbers of plus and minuses to have, uh, to be at their isoelectric point, which is the point, at the pH at which their, uh, their, their surface charge is neutral. So let's say those 20 minutes go. And during those 20 minutes, all those ions went in and they, they uh, what should we call it? They effectively titrated everything where all the, just through electrostatic interactions, everything canceled each other out, which is troubling. Now what's gonna end up happening is two things. First off, your, your, your ampelite, in this case, let's say it's going to be an ampelite from a range 4 to 7. So the beginning of your amp, the beginning of your, uh, your capillary is going to be the most acidic at a pH of 4. And as you gradually go through your capillary, it's going to increase as well, creating this little nice pH ladder. Let's actually go to pH 8 is over here. So you have effectively created a pH ladder through your ampelites while you turn on the voltage. And as your ampelites went to sort of their respective pH spots within this ladder, your, your sample did the same, where let's say sample A is still here, sample B is now here, and sample C is now here. And all of this happened because they have different isoelectric points, there will be different, they will be focused at different pHs just by nature of their surface, by, of their surface characteristics. So now you have all three separated in what was called the focus. focus well, now that everything's focused, you want to kick everything out. And ideally exactly as it is, so that we can then get a good reading for the distance between these two, the distance between these two, you ideally want those distances to stay constant between runs because that tells you that everything is the same throughout. Now, so how do you kick them out? Well, the way we kick them out is through what is called the mobilization stage. Where you're gonna kick down the voltage to about one kilo which is just enough so that this gradient doesn't disappear, so the ladder stays the same. And at a very, very small pressure of 0.1 psi about, you're going to start inserting your H3PO4 into the capillary. 
and it's gonna kick everything out towards your outlet side through the detection window where you will then read it in the electropharogram. The time at which it hits the detection window is known as the migration time. And that is the basics of a capillary isoelectric focusing run. Thank you.